okay these two plates almost fuse okay but in some cases you may feel that uprosity in some cases you may not feel that uprosity at least you can identify that zone and then start moving your finger distal to your fibrosity to get some kind of a dent where the maxilla is ending okay you can the stereolithic model is there see just give me sir one minute so if this is the patient i will feel the fibrosity and then i feel the dent in some cases the dent will be palpable in the some cases the dent may not be palpable do not worry do not worry but still you go sequentially only as a beginner don't try to directly go for the process you go in the exact sequence i am telling you so first step number 1 we palpate the tuberosity and try to estimate the buffering wall width the step number 2 we palpate the notch it may or may not exist tuberosity may or may not exist that's okay that's absolutely okay just try to think what probably you have seen on the opg or thought is it matching with what is happening in the mouth step number 3 now very crucial is we start putting our finger now just tell me all of you will we put our finger distally i mean in the throat or mesially to get the hemolytic process will the hemolytic process be distal or it will be mesial distally in the throat in the throat towards the throat of the patient towards the soft palate of the patient so from the tuberosity asrani sir you will start feeling the finger and go inside towards the throat to feel this sharp projection